welcome to episode 7 of the favourite Pokemon from each type series. And we go into the bug types. Uh, most bug types generally tend to be fairly weak, but for the good bug types, I thank you. That joke was uninsectable. <laughs> <laughs> it's you first. It's me first. Well, it's time for your boy colours of Bob. What? It's Guzma's Pokemon. It's isn't it? Guzma's Pokemon. Well, as a quick side note, by the way, it's, Japan has got its own um, honorific system. So there's, there's like San and Sama for like teachers, and there's like Don for like really respected. There's a Kun. yeah. There's like certain words for respected, but not reputable. If that makes sense, it's so like yeah. a mob boss, um, but translated. The closest thing is, it's your boy, which is why in Sun and Moon, it's your boy Guzma is said, is said all the time, but you know who else uses that suffix? Who? In Japan. Voldemort. <laughs> it's your boy Voldemort. It's your boy Voldemort! A Volocadabra! <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I suppose I better go with, uh, with um, Galissapod, should I? Um, yeah, you better, because that was a bit oblique. <laughs> Where to start? It's let's start with its stats. Its stats are like Mega Caesars. They are so good. He's got a lot of. It's a very strange Pokemon to use because of his ability. His ability is Emergency Exit, mm -hmm. which means that once it gets past half health, it auto switches out. <laughs> yeah, I remember this from the Togedemaru battle because. Like you attacked Togum Bimaru yeah. and it received damage from Iron Barb's Rocky Helmet Sandstorm <laughs> and something Didn't else. Didn't you like you know, you, I took you half know, your health off. You took half my health off. Without even having to attack you <laughs> and it just bogged off. Another <laughs> another thing I did was I, I had um, I had my Decidueye in that was scarfed. I couldn't do an attack. I, I, I was stuck into an attack that wasn't super effective, mm. so I switched into the Galissapod to take a hit and immediately switched back to the situation. <laughs> so I could use the right move. And it worked! It was great! That's funny. Pro That's right. strat! Yeah, it, it learns stuff like Sword Stance, but what's the point? Like, it'll it lose its buffs before like it can do anything. Like, it, if, it, if it gets switched out, it, it loses its buffs. So, the best way I've found to use it. It gets a signature move that's priority, mm. that does base 80 damage and is like double priority, so out priorities are the priorities. Um, it also gets uh, Stab Aqua Jet as well. It gets um, Leech Life, which got buffed to 80 damage. From 20. From 20, which is amazing. For a drain move, that's really good. Um, and also, it gets things like. Um, What's that move called? Like hydration or something like that? Ah, oh, right, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think so. It's that new move, the spider gets it as well, Dupider and Araquanid. Mm. Um, That's a tongue twister. Araquanid, yeah. Um, it's a water bug type, like like Yeah, very unique. Um, yeah, unique. before it, it was Sursky, it was like the only one that had it. Um, and then Sursky evolved into a generic bug flying. Bug flying, how annoying is that? But, yeah, Galissapod's typing is really interesting. Uh, I don't really get the water type, honestly. I get, well, I know where it comes from, because it's supposed to be an evolution of the... Uh, Wimpod. Of Wimpod, which is the, uh, what are they called? Uh, cuttlefish. Catfish? No, no catfish. not catfish. Probably um, a couple of fish then, right? Something like that, yeah. Um, they're like sea monkeys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it like evolves into this ridiculously awesome looking thing. Look badass. It, it kind of, it, if you use priority moves on it, then it can make use of its awesome bulk and it's, if it attacks first, then you essentially get a free switch. You can use it to gain momentum. If anything, it's like the world's perfect revenge killer. It's really good. Mm. Uh, it gets Sucker Punch as well, which, as discussed before, is pretty useful. Um, yeah, just an alright, very, very good Pokemon. Yeah. Um, very happy with it. And plus, you know, your boy Gooseby used it. <laughs> got good taste. Got yeah. good taste. My favourite bug type is a Gen 1 Pokemon. Obviously. 
It's a strange way of going about it because it actually comes from a quiz that me and Callum both did. Oh yeah! Yeah, it was an in-depth Pokemon Delicious. quiz. Delicious, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they've broken the link. We need to get this link back because it was a good quiz, in-depth, and it's accurate. Gets you into all sorts of scenarios. And yeah. I mean, we've all we've all been on the BuzzFeed articles of the which Pokemon are you? But they're usually like a pool of about eight different ones. It's shallow, whereas this one actually went into like it just t d dealt with types rather than kind of specific Pokemon, a specific book, which yeah. makes sense. Um, and yeah, it went into a lot of detail. It had a lot of nuance to it, which I thought was really good. Yep. Um, uh, you got water type, and I got poison type. Yeah. And which I was surprised at at first, but when we looked at the definitions, it made total sense. Total sense, yeah. It made total sense for us as well. Um, we then, for a bit of fun, worked out our secondary typings. Yours is spoilers for another episode. Uh, mine was a bug, and then we went one step further than that and got the. and matched ourselves with Pokemon from those particular types. Yeah. And I got matched with Venonat. And started using Venonat and its evolved form Venomoth and I grew a strange attachment to it. Can't explain why or how, but it's probably from the quiz. Yeah. Kind of kind of like my like my spirit Pokemon. Spirit yeah, spirit Pokemon. Mm. <clears throat> uh, but no, I, I liked Venomoth. Ven Venomoth is cute and cuddly. Uh, it, it's, it gets into its own in Gen 4 onwards when the physical special split happened. Because before that, bug and poison were physical. Physical, it's a special attacker, isn't it? It's a special attacker, yeah. It's special attack is higher than. It's both. physical, yeah. And it's got speed, so utilise it enough. To... Yeah. Well, it's always struck me as the kind of it's got speed and it's got sleep inducing stuff. Yeah. Goddamn nightmare. <laughs> so it's like a speed inducer. Kind of like, like Crobat as well, I used to do that with hypnosis. Um. Confuse Ray? You could use Confuse Ray is such a difficult one. I didn't think Crowbat um, can use hypnosis. It can, it learns a sleep move. Okay. It can it can definitely learn it can definitely induce sleep in earlier gens. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked here. So <coughs> Venomoth is a very quick sleep powder user. Yeah. And it's fifth gen onwards it becomes a very effective quiver dance user. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Which raises speed, special attack, and one other one. Speed, special attack, special defense. Special defense, yeah, which is pretty handy. Book poison, so nothing too unusual about that. No. It does have four times resistances against fighting, which I love. <laughs> you uh, are not a fan of getting punched. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> Gen 1 Venomoth is quite interesting because. Um, its special is quite high anyway, so it can tank special hits. Mm -hmm. Leech life is pretty interesting in that one, because even though it's only damage 20, yes, bulk was super effective against poison, which means against grass poison types, which Gen 1 was full of, yes. it can do some serious damage with it. Can it actually <clears> do damage enough to warrant with base 20? Oof, it helps. It heals it as well. It does. Well, so the whole problem with Gen 1 was it, it was psychic heavy. Bugs felt they were supposed to be the big counter. And it's weak to psychic as well, which doesn't help. It doesn't help. No. Quite a lot of bug types were as well. Um, but no, you, you use Venomoth as a staller. Yeah, it's not meant for that. It's meant for as a staller rather a stall than sweeper. Sweeper. Um, attack. Yeah. Well, later now. Now it's more useful as a sweeper. Yeah. Um, but I'd still think it still goes roots in stalling over anything else. Mm. How will it fare against Galissapod? Let's put them in a battle together. Fight! This fight is going to be particularly interesting because status does come into it. God, this is going to get complicated, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think we'll need some different battle music. I know just the one. Well, how I've built my Glissapod anyway is all priority. So I'm going to get the first hit in. Yeah. But. So much won't work. So much won't work. 
bug and water? Bug is neutral against other Is things. it neutral against venom moth, though? No, the poison type. The poison type. It's resistance. Resists it, so... Venom moth will resist a hit from first impression. I'd Does say... it flinch from first impression? Or is it just a priority move? No, I don't think it gets fake out stuff. No, I don't think it's fake out. This battle is basically dependent on if Venomoth can hit Golisopod with a sleep powder first time mm. round. <clears throat> well, so, once it's slept, yeah. what can it do to me? Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz, very powerful special attacking stab. Uh, it, you underestimate how powerful Golisopod's special defense is. It's a very bulky Pokemon. Its defense is um, high. Its special defense is only 80. Plus, well, another thing is, uh, with Glissapod being the only Pokemon in the theme, it doesn't have to worry about getting switched out because it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight. Mm. So, its ability is useless. Its ability is useless in this <laughs> scenario, but also it's not a hindrance either because uh, it's <coughs> such a mixed bag. Is Glissapod's ability? You've got to use it right to to fully harness it. Um, but in this fight, it doesn't really matter. So, I think. It, yes, okay, it comes down to whether it can be slept or not, but... And then, Venomoth, the way I used Venomoth most of the times is Sleep Powder Double Team. Okay, Sleep Powder Double, double Team, ugh, so cheap. <laughs> um, I suppose that does change the game a little bit, because with Sleep Powder, it's the chance of sleep, and then it's the chance that I could wake up. still <laughs> wake up and then deal damage yeah. enough. You reduce the odds heavily with double team, you cheap bitch, but <laughs> with um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm unsure. I'm going to lean towards Glissopod personally. Based off of attack. Based off of attack and defense, its pure stats are really good, and I feel like, but I feel like Venomoth could get a win in. If. if it just depends on if it's it just depends on whether it can get its, its stuff in. I'll just check its damage calculator to see yeah. uh, how much damage a bug buzz does. Yes, and also let's see what the percentages are of hitting and also percentages that I would be able to hit back should I be able to break out of sleep kind of thing. I'll do my best to try and work that out for you. Okay, so I have looked into the damage calculator and Basically, both Pokémon will free hit KO each other. Okay, really? Yeah. I think then Venomoth's probably got the edge on this one. Just because obviously if the damage is about the same, which is surprising to me, mm. then the edge comes from the sleep. Yes. Um, how likely is it that you're going to sleep out of me? 75%, I think, which is... Not bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um... So even if it misses first time round, and then you do an aqua jet, it'll still be able to... Still get another 75% chance. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to give that one to Venomoth. Venomoth? Venomoth. We're going to save Venomoth. So that's our bug episode done, and the next episode will be pretty cool. It's the ice types. Oh, that pun was not very ice. <laughs> Stay tuned. See you soon. Stay cool. Stay frosty, kids. Yeah. Terrible. One <laughs> 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 second. It's you first. Hang on a second. Busted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Time for your boy colour support! What? <laughs> <laughs> I learned recently, so Japan. Um... So I'm still laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I remember this against me at Togedemaru, where you attacked it. Can and... you just start that against Rose? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was an in depth quiz. Get on that internet, gods. Mm. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> right. I like that version. <laughs> We're going to do that for every episode. Yeah. Now, I think we need the different battle music for this one. We need the. I've got just the theme music. Oh. <laughs>
Do 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 do. I'm gonna go blow my nose real quick. Sorry. Yeah. I think then Venom Nat's probably got the edge on this one. Venom off. I'm gonna give that one to Venom Nat. Venom. So that's the bug episode done. Uh, next week's episode shall be one that I have not yet researched. <laughs> Let's have a look. We shall see. But I can. Stay cool. Stay frosty, kids. Stay cool. Sorry. <laughs> Shut that last break again. <laughs>